Now in the 17th part it says how much momentum will a dumbbell of mass 10 kg transfer to the floor if it falls from a height of 80 cm and take its downward acceleration to be 10 m per second square. So what is given here? M is the which is 10 kg. The second thing is S is given to us 80 cm. Convert cm into meter. So 80 over 100 would be the so you would get 0 0.8 meter. Then we have the acceleration. What is the acceleration here? 10 meter per second square is the since they are dropping the dumbbell, so initial velocity would be 0 meter per second, and we need to find the final velocity that is v. So now momentum we know is nothing but p is equal to mass into velocity. But as you can understand that the velocity is not there, so we need to find it by using some law of motion. Now, in this situation, if you look at S, hai, A, hai, U, hai, V, hai, so in this situation, mein the third law of motion, hai, third equation of motion, hai lagega, which is V square minus U square is equal to 2S. And if we have to take V, then we take U to right side. Le jate. So V square, we need to find U is 0, then 2 is there, A is 10, aa gaya, S is 0.8, aa gaya. remove the decimal from 0 0.8 so you have 2 into 8 which is 16 v square aaya. Ab yaha pe v square ki value kya ho sakti hai? it will become v ki value would become root 16 plus minus root 16 it can be positive it can be negative or root 16 ko hum kaise lik sakte hai? 4 ka square so we get the value as plus minus 4 meter per second v is plus minus 4 meter per second as the acceleration is positive so v would be positive so only value of v is positive 4 meter per second and we need to find the momentum which is p is equal to mv m in this case is 10 v in this case is 4 so you would get 40 kg meter per second